Kirk Bell is one of golf's living legends, one of the women who created the LPGA Tour. She barnstormed across the country with her best friend, Babe Beaverson Zaharias. Peggy became one of the world's most innovative instructors and then helped turn her Pine Needles Lodge and Golf Club in North Carolina into an historically spectacular golf destination. Peggy recently turned 90, and she was sweet enough to invite us to the party. Golf has been my life, my family's life, and I can't imagine not playing the game. Peggy Kirk was born in Philly, Ohio in 1921. Although she didn't pick up golf until age 17, she was a natural at the game. In the 1940s, Peggy won several events as an amateur, including the Ohio Women's Amateur, the North-South Championship, and the title holders. But it was an amateur team event that she had her sights set on. Playing for the United States Curtis Cup was my goal. Representing your country, to me, was the big, biggest thing in my life at the time. That was a memory I'll never forget. I turned pro in 1950. In order to have a women's golf tour, there were about 10 of us pros. I was learning to fly. The baby used to fly with me a lot. If I had a starting time in the morning, I took a lesson in the afternoon. So I wasn't playing much golf. My husband, Bullock, I knew him since the second grade, he wrote me a note and said, Do you love me or do you love Dwayne Hingle? And I wrote, I love you both. So I ended up marrying Bullock. Warren Bullet Bell and his new bride dreamed of owning a golf course and began operating Pine Needles in Southern Pines, North Carolina in 1953. They would later purchase the resort with an idea from friend and renowned golf instructor Ellen Griffin. The course of Pine Needles would change. Ellen Griffin said, well, let's have the golf school. In two weeks' time, it just snowballed. We had 58 women. And the next year, we had 150. This just grew from the desire for women to play the game. The Pine Needles Golf Academy became famous for Peggy's Golfaris. Five days of instruction in all aspects of the game. Peggy would be named one of the top 100 instructors and became the first female to be inducted into the World Golf Teachers Hall of Fame. I can remember all the way back to the very first Golfari that we had. It wasn't too few many years after that I was teaching alongside her. She has such a passion for it, and I think that's what comes through. She's out there all day long on the garden range. What they built here at Pine Needles, it was their dream, and they achieved it. Mullet lived to see their dream fulfilled, but lost his battle of cancer in 1984. The Bell's three children, Bonnie, Peggy, and Kirk, as well as their spouses, stepped in to help the family business. If you don't play golf, you don't get in. That's what I kid them because all of my youngster married golfers, all my grandchildren play too. They never pushed us into playing. We were all very fortunate to, to have meet people like Arnold Palmer and, and Patty Bird around a lot, and, and of course, Mom. The family has been so involved uh, in the operation here. This is home to everybody, you know, more than our homes. They went out on the land to even get this place going, and, and they left a real legacy to, you know, to us and to the grandchildren and for generations to come. With her family behind her, Becky was ready for a new challenge. And having already hosted the U.S. Senior Women's Amateur, Peggy asked friend and USGA president Judy Bell about hosting an Open in 1996 at her home course. Peggy served as honorary chairman of the U.S. Women's Open. The Open returned to Pine Needles in 2001 and 2007. Now, after spending more than 50 years at Pine Needles, Peggy is celebrating a milestone for her 90th birthday. To celebrate the birthday weekend, we had a golf tournament, a best ball event, and we have a legends clinic, and we have a birthday dinner for a wonderful celebration. It was an opportunity to start the Peggy Kirk Bell Foundation to expand the Peggy Kirk Bell Girls Tour, and it's now the largest girls only junior golf tour in the country. It was a tribute to her and also an opportunity to show her really how much she's done for us. It's phenomenal, the lives she's touched. They've never met anybody that didn't love them.
mentioned Tegi's Golf Art as well. One of the teenagers who once attended those at Pine Needles was Annika Sorenstam. Peggy became her mentor. Peggy became a friend of the Golf Channel during our first year on the air in 1995. She came on Academy Live here in the studio and inspired and charmed us all. We've been pals ever since. So from all of us here at Golf Channel, Peggy, happy birthday.